Hey, oh. okay. Can you hear yep. me? Yep, sounds okay, good. Thanks. Hello, colleagues. Uh, as uh, Serge, thanks for uh, uh, my presentation. Uh, my name is Oleg, as Serge said. Uh, I'm working for, as a head of Anti Malware Research Lab uh, for state technical service here in Kazakhstan, in uh, North Sultan or ex Astana city. Uh, I'm working for a Kazakhstan government company which work in the uh, IT security field and uh, uh, hosts KZ3 uh, uh, in, in uh, this company. Uh, our KZ3 was established in uh, 2011. Uh, now it uh, has uh, many connections uh, due to uh, uh, cross-border nature of uh, cyber incidents, which uh, we are uh, investigate, and um, uh, KZ3 uh, is uh, um, has a wide network of contacts um, with many thirds or uh, IT security vendors. Uh, if you interested in uh, cooperation with us, you can drop me a mail uh, and uh, we. We respond to you, and uh, we, we can cooperate. Uh, we've analyzed, analyzed uh, statistics uh, of uh, cyber incident, and as you can see, uh, the number, uh, the total number of incidents uh, in uh, this year uh, increased, was increased uh, in uh, due to the transferring uh, operations uh, to online mode, and. Uh, as you can see, uh, DDoS numbers uh, uh, was increased uh, uh, dramatically in May uh, because uh, we have uh, internal um, specific uh, operations here uh, because of um, uh, government helping to uh, to the uh, people and uh, some DDoS attacks uh, was. Uh, uh, were uh, at this time. Uh, phishing uh, has also uh, increased. Uh, most prevalent uh, fields uh, are uh, financial, education, trade, and state. Um, and uh, we see it in, in March and April and October. Uh, we, we see, we can see. Um, uh, big increasing uh, uh, comparing with uh, last year. Uh, as you can see on my slide, um, the most prevalent uh, channel is a website uh, which uh, uh, placing uh, phishing pages uh, to, to um, uh, work with um, uh, victims. And uh, now I want to uh, talk about uh, some uh, interesting um, uh, targeted attacks which, uh, which we uh, investigate in, here in Kazakhstan and um, uh, talk about uh, interesting moments so, uh, which we, uh, we found. Almost 19% uh, of analyzed uh, uh, samples uh, are backdoor of uh, or spy spyware. I think it's uh, due to the nature of uh, our uh, field uh, of operation. It's government sector and critical infrastructure sector. Uh, uh, attackers want to uh, to control uh, this, um, uh, these computers in, in government or infra uh, infrastructure um, field. Uh, we found uh, one computer which has um, 20 malware samples, uh, 12 of them uh, were spyware, and four of them uh, were installed during one day. It's, it was so interesting, uh, very interesting computer uh, for attackers. Uh, two years and three months, uh, spyware was active uh, on a computer. Uh, it was a record which we investigate. And the second place uh, was uh, uh, one year and 10 months uh, of active uh, uh, spyware uh, on the com at the computer. Uh, we found more than uh, 10 infected computers uh, during one incident. Uh, uh, the victims uh, didn't uh, do anything, as I said. Uh, we found um, 
uh, encoded uh, config file of malware which uh, contained um, uh, MAC addresses, uh, uh, encoded MAC addresses of uh, targeted uh, victims, and uh, we, we, we could, uh, could find um, this computer by MAC addresses. Uh, we can uh, we see uh, during our investigations uh, complication of malware uh, attempts to bypass many protection techniques uh, such as sandboxes. So uh, attackers uh, knowing about uh, modern techniques, uh, IDS, uh, network sandboxes, uh, mail sandboxes, uh, EDR, and so on and uh, try to uh, bypass it uh, with many uh, techniques. Uh, as I said uh, after. Uh, the, the first case of, uh, about which I, I want to talk uh, has um, interested technique because um, any operations was made by um, uh, by a legitimate uh, code, uh, source code of um, malware, uh, which was written on C sharp, uh, was uh, delivered to the uh, victim's computer. Uh, this uh, malware uh, contained a small loader, as you can see on upper uh, part of the uh, slide. Uh, which uh, allocates uh, memory and then uh, creates thread uh, with uh, uh, the uh, memory uh, which contains shell code uh, which uh, stored in um, array uh, which placed uh, on uh, above of the, uh, this code. And um, uh, this code delivered uh, to um, to victim's machine, as I said before, uh, then uh, it uh, compiled by a legitimate uh, code, uh, which uh, included into Microsoft Windows, uh, as you see in the middle of the slide, uh, it's compiled to uh, DLL, uh, and this DLL uh, loaded by PowerShell code, which uh, shown uh, at uh, the, uh, Button uh, part of the uh, this uh, uh, this picture and uh, DLL uh, uh, working with uh, payload. Uh, it was a uh, backdoor uh, uh, which can control uh, almost all. Uh, uh, operations on the computer. Uh, this first case uh, has uh, additional um, uh, additional parts because uh, when we investigate uh, this uh, case, uh, we found uh, another computer uh, which has uh, a similar uh, DLL which was protected with good protector and uh, it was uh, difficult to to dump uh, the code, uh, the, the payload, because uh, it was uh, encrypted. Uh, but uh, we tried to, you know, to, to, to find uh, this code because uh, we thought that um, uh, the code was uh, stored as a, an array. And we uh, think about a um, uh, situation that uh, this array must be must be decrypted uh, before uh, loading, and uh, we thought that um, it uh, can be found in decrypted uh, uh, in decrypted uh, 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 file uh, in in the memory in the memory, um, uh, and uh, we tried to found uh, it in dump in memory dump and we found because uh, uh, the code was the same but protected and uh, because of a uh, mistake of attackers we can uh, we could uh, get and dump uh, this payload and analyze it second uh, case which i want to talk about uh, interesting why this operation, uh, its operation scheme. Uh, it used um, uh, 
uh, process following technique, self process following technique. Uh, so MOPSIS exe, uh, it um, uh, malware, uh, malicious uh, files, um, uh, malicious file, uh, it uh, uh, run, uh, check uh, if it run in uh, virtual machine. If uh, it uh, pass checking, uh, it uh, run another copy of it, uh, uh, writes uh, decrypted uh, resource into uh, the memory of the second uh, process and um, uh, run payload, uh, which uh, was uh, uh, inject uh, the, uh, the payload code into the memory of existing legitimate process, uh, Explorer XZ uh, on uh, 32 architecture and Calc XZ uh, on uh, 64 ar architecture and uh, run. Uh, this case, uh, used many intermediate domains. Uh, it, it was a, a downloader. Uh, used many intermediate domains for getting a real URLs to download. One of the sample contained more than 1,400 uh, of domains. Uh, it uh, used this domain uh, list uh, very, um, uh, very, uh, very economically, maybe uh, uh, by one or, or two uh, uh, per minute, uh, it was uh, done because um, attackers want to hide these uh, domains uh, from uh, analy analysis or, uh, in sandbox, and sandbox couldn't uh, receive a full list of domains, which uh, this malware used. Uh, uh, the code uh, in the sample uh, looks innocent. Uh, the first um, sample uh, has only a uh, uh, loader of uh, itself and uh, only uh, re rewriting uh, memory of uh, the second process and nothing else. So, so uh, static analysis uh, can't uh, show uh, real functionality of malware. Uh, Files which uh, this malware want to um, uh, download uh, ha had uh, intentionally damaged the header. It was made for um, bypassing uh, uh, network uh, uh, sandbox. Uh, when a network sandbox uh, tried to execute uh, downloading file, uh, it fails because uh, file uh, corrupted. And sample, sample uh, as I said, do many anti-VM sandbox checks to prevent execution in sandboxes. The third case, it's also very interesting because of its uh, um, operation mode. Uh, it, uh, at the upper um, uh, part of this slide, you can see a uh, little script uh, uh, which uh, resaves re re uh, uh, doc files, uh, Microsoft Word files, uh, docx or doc uh, formats into RTF format. Uh, then uh, RTF uh, file uh, was a uh, then. Um, so uh, exploit code was appended to a new RTF file. And uh, you, uh, you uh, can uh, see uh, exploit code as in a, a red um, box uh, at the bottom uh, lower uh, part of uh, the screen. And um, this exploit um, makes, uh, um, that uh, Microsoft Word, when uh, it uh, opens a uh, uh, file, uh, uh, can load mal malicious code, which is stored into uh, uh, the DLL, lsx.dll, uh, which uh, placed uh, uh, nearby the, the file in the same, uh, uh, in the same directory. And, um, uh, the, 
as you can see, when we opened the uh, test document, uh, which uh, in real uh, case uh, will be uh, real uh, users file uh, legitimate but we uh, but restored uh, received uh, in rtf format with exploit code uh, and when uh, word uh, ms word uh, will open uh, this file uh, DLL will be loaded into the memory and uh, in fact uh, the computer which uh, on, on which it will open and uh, we can see uh, tree, uh, process tree uh, uh, that shows uh, uh, that WinWord um, loads run DLL32XE, uh, which uh, with uh, malicious code, which uh, infects, uh, already infects uh, targeted computer. And uh, if you um, zoom it, uh, you can see that uh, it uh, that malicious DLL was placed into temp directory uh, uh, with name of the file ERTUTIL.dll. Uh, the computer was infected and uh, uh, attackers uh, get control on it. Uh, this sample uh, have uh, has. Um, much capabilities, many capabilities. It can hide uh, files on FAT32, many USB sticks, as I know, uh, as you know, uh, formatted in this file system. Uh, via editing of file systems, uh, data structures, um, it uh, sets um, uncommon uh, combination of file attributes to the data structure of its files, uh, which were. Uh, need be uh, hidden uh, and uh, uh, operation system uh, didn't uh, show these files on um, didn't show these files on the flash on the uh, USB sticks. Uh, it, this malware can deliver data and files to and from air gap systems uh, it, it can receive an additional executable. Um, and uh, run it. Uh, so, okay, I, I read in chat. Um, uh, to and from air gap systems, and uh, it can receive an additional executable uh, and a command and uh, run it in uh, air gap system uh, and uh, send uh, results of uh, execution uh, to the uh, computer which uh, uh, is controlled by attackers. Uh, the number of intermediate computers in the air gap network doesn't matter. Uh, it, uh, it means that um, it use as many hopes uh, in a uh, chain of computers uh, as uh, attackers need to, to, to go to interesting computer. It uh, can hope three or more uh, hopes uh, to, to, to go there. Uh, and the last um, case, which uh, I want to tell you, uh, uh, when we investigate uh, one of uh, the case, uh, we found a keyboard spy log, uh, by, uh, which was made by PlugX. Uh, and uh, we have no loader and payload uh, because they were deleted by antivirus uh, more than a year ago. And we haven't um, uh, the code which uh, creates this key, uh, keyboard uh, spy log and uh, we can analyze it and um, uh, find out uh, the methods uh, to decrypt uh, this uh, uh, log file. Uh, but uh, we have uh, some decryption scripts uh, uh, that uh, couldn't decrypt log, uh, but uh, the scripts uh, can um, can uh, understood format. Uh, it can um, understood uh, length of uh, records in this file and uh, uh, extract keys uh, for each um, for each record. Uh, um, plugins use uh, different keys for for each record. 
and uh, we need to decrypt it and uh, we try to uh, make the, the scheme uh, we uh, we look at uh, uncommon log file name uh, and we try to guess that it was a custom plugins version uh, we try to uh, find uh, on virus total intelligence uh, try to bundle files uh, and found a uh, loader of uh, malware, but a loader doesn't contain, a uh, loader in PlugX doesn't contain um, uh, the code which uh, creates a keyboard lock and uh, a loader uh, didn't contain um, the code which encrypts it. Uh, we haven't uh, found a payload. Uh, when we uh, try to search uh, by loader's hash uh, on free analysis services, we found uh, some payload uh, which uh, bonded to the hash which we found. And uh, we found payload. Uh, we analyzed payload uh, and uh, gives decryption algorithm and uh, successfully uh, decrypted log file. And uh, when we uh, decrypted it, we uh, found exact date of infection because of uh, date of uh, uh, the first uh, record in this uh, log file. Uh, compromised information, uh, we, we uh, found uh, information that was stored, uh, stolen, um, uh, that was uh, included in uh, this log file. Relation to another incident, because uh, we found uh, another incident which happens at the same period of dates and possible emails of attackers uh, we found because attackers um, Ask to ask ask a victim to confirm uh, receiving of this uh, mail, and uh, our victim uh, confirm it, but uh, it confirm uh, it uh, when uh, key, uh, key logger uh, was running and key logger um, logs uh, this mail, and so uh, it logs. Uh, every um, part of the form of uh, my email cl client and um, uh, it uh, locked uh, uh, attacker's email uh, and we found uh, attacker's email. So it's uh, everything I, as I want to tell about. Uh, and uh, if you have questions, I try to answer it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Oleg, for an interesting talk. I don't see any questions in the Q&A right now. So are there any questions by the participants? If so, please add them to uh, the q and I, I have one. So the, the first question would be in, in all of these events, do you see, is it always against kind of the same types of victims? And, and kind of the second related one, could you find some form of attribution? Is it always kind of the, the same group that you feel is behind it? Uh, uh, as a um, uh, type of uh, victim, I can talk about uh, it. It is a government uh, sector uh, and uh, uh, some organization in government sector. Uh, because, uh, but, but, but uh, as uh, as I can see, uh, as I can say, uh, by attribution of this attack, I, I don't know uh, uh, with which um, uh, group it can be attributed. But uh, as, I, as I said before, uh, the, the tool was uh, PlugX. And uh, uh, as you know, uh, PlugX uh, may be attributed to the one big country uh, at the east <laughs> of <laughs> us. Uh, Many, uh, many uh, sources uh, talk about uh, uh, plugin attribution as uh, Chinese uh, malware, but yes. I can't uh, confirm it. Okay, and obviously it's, it's always hard for, for technical people to, to really do attribution. It was more in terms of a commonality. Yeah, I think this was a, a really interesting talk. I appreciate that a lot. Any questions, last chance? If not, Oleg, thanks a lot and uh, 
All the best to you in far away in Kazakhstan. Bye -bye. Yeah, uh, I have a, one a question. Uh, what indicators of compromise? Uh, uh, which uh, case uh, do you mean, Ketch? Uh, I can say. Uh, I can. I, I, I think you can um, send your question in um, on my mail, and if uh, we can uh, answer it, uh, we, we will answer. I think. That's good. So yeah. Okay. Thank you, Serge. Uh, Thank you, Alec. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks. Tracy. Thanks to yeah. all the audience. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.